But now I have one more to do and it's coming out so cozy and so fast with those little needles. Good morning everyone. This kite's too tired. Anyway, when I left you last night, my husband was replacing my hard drive. And because it's me and my computer, it didn't work, so... Yeah, I guess the status of it right now is there's a clean install of the OS on the new drive. The new drive is installed and made a partition on my large external work drive. And he is currently copying the old internal drive to that new partition so we can at least stop messing with the old drive and keep that safe. And then I guess we'll try to somehow, baby, chill. We'll try to somehow get the uh, old drive onto the new install. If that doesn't work, worst case, we'll be putting my old drive back in so I can get my work done today because I know I'm gonna have edits. Mm -hmm. Gotta get school ready for the next week. I have work tomorrow, so we'll see. But first, pancakes. my computer's working. I probably have to log into every last thing, but so far it's there. And eventually I can start moving some things off of my external drive over to my new one terabyte drive. Yay! Um, this little guy and I are going to the art store because Jack settled on Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon trainer. So I am going to knit him some fingerless gloves in green. So I need to get two shades of green. All right guys, so my computer's fixed. That's amazing. Um, I have some copying to do later, but for now we are going to have nap time. And then we'll make dinner and hang out together and finish out our weekend. You say hi to everybody? Hi. You tell them we went on a, a mommy, Sebastian, and Benny date? We your stuffed bunny, should he nap with us? Should I go get him? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, we went to the, the craft store to get yarn and needle for Jackson's Ash Ketchum gloves. I got the tiniest needle I've ever used. It is a size four nine inch needle. And that the it, thing I ever seen. Yeah, well this is a teeny tiny little needle and it's working out really well. I have small hands, so. My fingers got a little crampy when I started and I didn't really have much to hold on to, but now that I'm an inch in, it's really good. Um, oh, okay, hold on. You gotta take this out so they can hear you. Yeah, well, um, I get, I get, I brought it to a monster. <laughs> There's no monster. In my, in my room. You were hiding in your room. Yeah. Really, really, really. Okay, I'm gonna go get Benny. Okay. Here is my completed Ash Ketchum mitt. I have to obviously weave in all these extra ends, but here is one. I've got to make two. It could be worn with this folded up. If I can do it with one hand, or worn down for some more wrist warmth. It came out really well. This is my first hand item that I've knit, like I've never made gloves or mittens. It was very simple and I used this teeny tiny little nine inch needle. This is a size four. Yeah. This is less than an inch right here. So I have small hands and it even looks tiny <laughs> for me. I made a size small of this and it fits me really well and it actually fits Jack's really well because his fingers are just a tiny bit shorter than mine. His hands are about the same size. I've got small hands and long fingers, but I think it looks really great. I'm going to weave in the ends and I'll show you guys when I'm all done with that. So 
So the pattern I used was on Ravelry. It was free and it's the Sarah Fingerless Mitts, as you can see right here. Uh, I did make the wrist shorter and I made it so that it could fold up if it, he wanted it that way. I think he's going to wear it down though because he likes it warm. And now I have one more to do and it's coming out so cozy and so fast with those little needles. Uh, I always do magic loop DPNs, double pointed needles, tend to fall out of my hands because this hand is fairly numb. One finger is totally numb pins and needles and the rest kind of have low sensation because I did have a stroke after I had my second son so I've been doing magic loop but you know I feel it takes so much longer because you're constantly moving the stitches around and adjusting the needles so this was just so wonderful and so fast and I'm definitely going to be making some for me. Hey! All right, what do you think of our gloves? Well, glove, because I only have one. But let me know what you think. If you're a Pokemon fan, does it look good? Will it be good for his Ash Ketchum costume? Um, I actually only knew his name was Ash. I'm not a huge Pokemon person, not for any reason, just I haven't taken the time to learn. I know a lot of the Pokemon's names just from Jack's loving them as he grew up. Um, th this'll be fun. We're not going to do it super authentic. Sorry, I was just following my gummy vitamins. Um, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go with like a blue sleeveless fleece vest, put some yellow bias on it, some sort of a white long sleeve shirt because it's cold, probably long blue pants. I am ordering a hat that looks like his hat, but it'll have like Pokemon logo on the back. No. Sorry. <laughs> He's trying to lay hide and seek the bobbies. But it's too late. We gotta hurry. Go take your, take those stinky socks off. Uh, I am getting him a little backpack. It's gonna be solid green instead of two-tone green because solid green is under $10 on Amazon. So I'm going with that. He can put his extra candy in there. And I just ordered a little mini Pikachu that's supposed to sit on your shoulder. It's probably a little smaller than Pikachu would be in real life if he was to scale, but Jax is a little smaller than Ash anyway and it's meant to sit on your shoulder it's like weighted and it, it's i think his other one would be just obnoxious and poking his head and falling off and flopping so this will be good uh, that one's ordered from ebay seller it says it's going to be here in plenty of time but let's hope that is correct anyway if you like those fingerless gloves give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here I will be posting more videos as we get more progress for Halloween. And this little guy's gonna say goodnight to us. Come here, sweetie. Come say goodnight. Maybe we'll play Bobby Hyde if you come say goodnight. All right, take the Bobby out so they can hear you. And we don't need to show them our yucky potty. Let's go like this. You have chocolate on your chin. <laughs> or is that apple? You were just, that's a piece of apple. You were just oh. eating apple. All right, say goodnight, everyone. Don't hit it. Say goodnight. It's over here. Say goodnight. Goodnight. No, you do. It's silly.